Good morning students. I am Professor G.D. Padil, Assistant Professor in the Department of Processing and Food Engineering, KKO College of Agriculture Engineering and Technology, Nashik. So today is, we are going to study on the topic Loose Housing Barn. Okay. So this is the one of the type of dairy barn. The first is Site Selection of Loose Housing Barn. Generally, Loose Housing Barn permits to move animals freely and to allow simple and economical construction of the feeding and shelter places. Okay, also except small portion which is used for manger made up of cement concrete and remaining are unpaved. In hot climate condition there are no necessity to cover entire barn area. Shed should be constructed such that it is protected from sun and rain. The size of the cow's house depends upon the climatic conditions inside and outside feeding arrangement, average production of herd. Okay. So generally size of house depends on climatic condition inside and outside feeding arrangement also average production of herd okay so these are important factors for size of cows house okay so high milk producing cows required more feed and water floor space required for feeding and loafing is about 9 to 11 meters square per cow in loose housing barn also roof is constructed of gi seed or extra cement seed with simple simple which are supported with pillars okay feed manger is about 72 to 75 centimeter width okay means also means similar feed manger is provided in loose housing barn for feeding the animals okay is about 72 to 75 centimeter and milking parlor generally loose housing barn means Cows are housed and covered or partially covered air, but not milk in batches, means separate milking rooms, okay, provided in loose housing one for milking purpose. So this is the milking parlor, okay, means this is also called as milking housing system. The milking parlor is a type of arrangement in which cows are milked but not housed, okay, it is important and essential part of loose housing one to also associate with stanchion one, okay. The provision made for cows to pass easily from feed area to milking parlor. Also, most convenient milking room arrangement, tandem type single or twin row arrangement is provided in milking parlor. Okay, means most commonly used milking parlor is tandem type. Okay, herringbone type also widely used in India. Okay, as a milking parlor. The milking house system consists of compressor rooms, cold rooms, washroom, and loading platform. So location is generally 2.4 meter away from the dairy barn. Okay. So this is the loose housing barn. Means attached milking parlors. Okay, I mean generally at least 2.4 meter away from the barn for milking purpose. Okay. Another type is pen barn. Okay, this is also one of the type of dairy barn. This structure used for sheltering and restricting dairy animals. It is also known as isolation chamber. Sizes of pen barn is 11 to 70 meters square and width is about 3 meters. Additional arrangements for calving, calf rearing, and housing of sick animals. Okay, so this is the pen barn generally used for sheltering and restricting dairy animals. It is also known as isolation chamber. Okay, the size of pen barn is generally 11 to 70 meters square and width is about 3 meters. Okay, also additional arrangement providing for calving, calf rearing, and housing of sick animals. The next type of their barn is community barn so there are going trains to house cows and buffaloes under the one center and getting roughages concentrate and drinking water arranged by government or cooperative organizations the place is known as milk colony milking colony milking colony attached with dairy okay one has to care and feed the animal and collect the milk then sell it into the dairy and also their products sell into the milking colony okay thank you students